Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So, still on the unconstitutional swearing-in of Ahmed Bola Tinibu as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the presidential candidate of the National Conscience Party in the 2015 election has said that the only way out for Ahmed Bola Tinibu now is to confess just like INEC lawyer did. All right, before we continue with this news, I'm going to be sharing other uh, stories with you guys also, but I want to beg you to please help me by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also share this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Please don't forget to like also. It says 25% in FCT. The way out for Tinibu is to audit his election and confess like the INEC lawyer. There is still a challenge being filed before the election petition tribunal regarding the conduct of the 2023 election which resulted in the election of Bola Ahmed Tinibu as president. The petitioners alleged that the election was held without INEC following its procedures. The father claimed that by granting Tinibu the certificate of return, the commission violated the constitution. The presidential candidate of the National Conscience Party in the 2015 election, Martins Onovo, has alleged that the president's declaration was unconstitutional and unlawful in that he failed to score 25% in the federal capital territory. He also charged the president with conducting an election audit and appointing the democratically elected candidate. He believes that if the president corrects all the flaws, he will be respected. In his words, he lacks all the criteria requirement for leadership. Also, he lost the election woefully and still seized the office. His swearing in was unlawful and his tenure is illegitimate. Tinibu lacks the leadership capacity to succeed and cannot succeed. The way out for Tinibu is to audit his election and confess like the INEC lawyer did at the presidential election petition tribunal and install a democratically elected candidate. He will then become a hero and retire with a good legacy. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. And what do I have to say? First of all, I will say this is a good observation. And um, I wish the people he is talking to, we hear and understand. Not just understand, but taking a bold step to do the right thing. But we knowing who these people are, APC can never, as far as I'm concerned, they can never ever accept defeat telling apc to accept defeat is like telling the devil to go and apologize to god a very impossible mission there is nothing honorable about apc so don't expect them or the presidential candidate to honorably resign and do what is required by them by the law these people they have this bad orientation of this country belongs to them and as such they are they are they can do anything they want with the country and its citizens and nothing will happen these people they are ready to do anything to remain at the top even if they have to wipe out half of this country just for them to remain at the top and the atrocities covered they are ready to do it one person someone once wrote me during the election campaigns someone wrote me and said that the obedience they should go and die he said even if even if it will take them even if they have to like wipe out ah i can't get that message he said even if they have to wipe out the entire country for ahmed bola tinibu to become the president he said they would do it and nothing will happen that is a message like maybe i'll look for that message and put on my screen but if i don't see it this is what the person just told me and he continued to say he, he, he continued to say a whole lot of uh, terrible things he said they will snatch the pilot boss they will do this they will do that and there is nothing the obedience can do he said they will use the last drop of their blood to make sure that Ahmed Bolatinibu becomes the president. And when he was saying I was okay, so like when did we get to the point where to lead 
people to become the president of Nigeria is now a do or die affair. If you finish killing the people, who are you going to rule then? I think I remember asking him that question also. He said it doesn't matter. So far, I met Bola Tinibu becomes the president of Nigeria. And I was shocked. So these people, they are ready to do the unthinkable just to remain at the top. And someone will say, ah, I met Bola Tinibu. What is he still looking for power for? Why is he going there? See, Tinibu is not poor. Tinibu is not a poor man. I'm saying it today. That man is not poor. It is true that his money, he got it from some uh, allegedly illegal ways, some they stole from the Nigerian people. But the truth of the matter is that Ahmed Bola Tinibu is not going there to become the president because he is poor and is looking for money to eat. Mba. They are there because these people, they have committed so many atrocities in this country and they need this power to protect themselves. Nothing more than that. They need this power to be able to cover all the atrocities they have committed so that no one can hold them accountable for everything they have done in this country and stay doing but one thing i know for sure is that it will not last forever it is true that they have taken over the judiciary the national assembly they have basically taken over everything and as of today the only people that have voice in this country is the presidency our judiciary no longer have voice because even when they give order the presidency will not obey. The orders are not being obeyed by the presidency because they are practically bigger than the law. The National Assembly, they are now called rubber stamp senators because they cannot take any decision on their own without the presidency. The question I keep asking is, why? what are they still doing there? Because it is obvious we don't need them. It is only the presidency that we need because they are the one who decides what happened to us and every other person does not have a say about it. But one thing I know for sure is that this thing will not last forever because for everything under the earth, under the sun, there is time and season for it. And their own time, the way it will turn, eh, it will be like the word the Bible said, that when the Lord turned the captivities of Zion, they were like them that dream. So this God is a God that I know that reward people according to their works. APC will not be exception. And INEC is also another big problem we are facing in this country. But all of them, one after the other, we pay for the evil and atrocities they have committed against the people of this country. And that is it for you all, my people. I saw the news and I decided to come share with you all. With all of that being said, I'm going to leave you to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, support, and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.